first of all, what, what kind of went on with uh, Gratterall and Hansi? With uh, Broussard, it was a cramp, uh, kind of the ribbish area. Um, we checked him out and uh, it all checked out fine. Um, he was certain that he was fine. Uh, I just felt that, you know, and, and with obviously with Nathan out there, we just felt that it just made sense not to uh, push him or put him in harm's way at all. You know, a cramp could be an oblique. So I just felt at that time we'd take him out of the game and evaluate him, which we did. And then tomorrow we'll see how he comes in and uh, potentially do some testing on him. So you don't think any IIL or anything else? You know, um, we're hopeful that it doesn't come to that. But given where we're at in the season, uh, it's certainly not off the table. And then as far as the game, what do you think overall of Gonson and today? I, I thought ta Tony was good. I mean, I, I think that even without his best stuff, uh, he was able to navigate 24, 25 hitters. Um, I don't think his slider was as consistent as it has been uh, to the righties. Um, I think he, I wouldn't even call the, the, the homer that he gave up a mistake. It was a 3-2 split down, down and in. A kid took a good swing on it, so I don't even call that a mistake. So um, he worked behind more than he typically has, but again, um, when he's going that low, he can still navigate and, and still put out a quality start. What went into the decision to take Craig out? It was just, it was the second night uh, for him in a row, and I just felt that the amount of pitches he's thrown, the stress, um, having a fresh Vessi available, uh, I just didn't want to push him any further. Do you go into the situations like that <coughs> with a certain pitch count number in mind, or is it more sort of how the stuff is looking, especially in that, in that last at bat? Um, I, I, well, anytime you bring in the close, I don't think I'm thinking about someone behind him. Um, I think the stress is one thing, but you know when you get upwards past the mid 20s and you get into the 30s, I didn't want him to start that at that um, at that point. So um, it just felt for me, obviously, to finish a game is something that he takes a lot of pride in. But I just felt that there was only diminishing returns at that point. Tommy never, you know, really gives off much of a vibe or motion. So does that make it any tougher for you to read him to really? Get a line on, on injury games? Um, no, not really. I, I think that he's very stoic um, and certainly doesn't give me much as far as conversations, but it's just more of, you know, I'm watching his pitch making, um, I'm watching body language, um, and, and also just understanding what he's been through, the recency, uh, what he has as we look out as far as the potential starts. All that stuff, you know, for me, I kind of consider when they said to make a move. Have we asked you yet if you should start the All-Star game? No, I, you know what, I, think, uh, I guess <laughs> thankfully, but not thankfully, is that that's not my decision. As a fan, are you kind of enjoying like the discussion, of whether it be Sandy or Tony or Clayton or like? Yeah, you know, I am, I am. Uh, you know, when you can be a part of that discussion, that means you've got a couple of pitchers that are, are deserving. Um, so I don't think that any of those decisions are wrong. Uh, you know, obviously, He's got his own guy, Max Free, who's going to be there. Uh, Sandy's having a fantastic season. Met him a few years ago, a great young man, and obviously our two guys. So um, as far as starting the game, I, I think that you can put Julio on the mix as a start, as an all-star. But as far as starting, I think that there's four really you know, names that you can't go wrong with. Hey, uh, uh, Mike Brito passed away. Uh, I would like to know your thoughts, and how would you remember? Well, uh, Mike. Uh, is a baseball lifer, and I consider him a friend, and uh, my heart goes out to him and his family. And um, he, he impacted the Dodger organization for decades. Um, I learned a lot from him, talking about players, and uh, just seeing the game. And it doesn't matter where on the map there was a baseball game, if there was a potential prospect, uh, Mike was uh, willing to be there and put his eyes on him. So, um, he lived a great life, and he's certainly going to be missed. Dave, are we past the point where what Tony's doing is not extraordinary, but now just expected? It is. Uh, I've been past that point. I think um, you know we just got to make sure that um, we kind of manage him the right way. Um, but as far as performance expectation, yeah, he's he's passed uh, all the tests for me as far as the consistency, uh, every fifth day.
Are you concerned with the hit with pitches? But the hit by pitches? No, no. You know, tonight Mookie uh, got hit on a on a cutter that backed up. Um, Trace, I think that lefty just kind of just lost it right. But uh, no, there's certainly no intent. Just to clarify, Bruce, are think it's a cramp? Are you guys going to? It was a cramp. Okay, but that's, uh, that's what he said. Um, but we're still going to continue to test and, and see how he feels tomorrow. 